Well, welcome back, everybody. We are at the Blick Summer Series of Workshops at the NAEA headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia. We are here with 30 plus art teachers from across the country, and we're going to be making a fiber mesh mash this afternoon. Now, you might be familiar with this material. I would hope you're familiar. This has been around for a long, long time. What if we were to use this in a way that nobody else ever has before, outside of its normal function? What if we were to use it with fibers, with yarn and fibers, but also with wires and with twine and with rope and with beads and with different kinds of things? We take the old school and we put it a new way and it becomes a mesh mash. Get it? A fiber mesh mash. If we were to do this with younger students, um, fiber such as twisty wires. You guys familiar with twisty wires? They're the plastic coated wires. So for younger ages, you don't need any sort of a needle or means of pushing it through the canvas. You can just do some early weaving projects like this. In your package today, we have a tapestry needle. Um, you guys have a small version that is very, very blunt on the end. It's not nearly as sharp as many needles. We also sell a plastic version of this. It's a little bit larger, but plastic canvas has a lot of give to it, so you can actually fit a much larger needle through these openings in the plastic mesh canvas. For older students, okay, that's the piece that I have right here. So what if, and this canvas is super easy to cut with just regular scissors, we can do shapes of any kind that we want. Let's just do a real natural shape like this. Okay, now what if we were to bend this and to attach it? I'll just go ahead and use the wire although I could certainly be doing this with the yarn and the needle. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to have something that starts out being three-dimensional. So if we think of that as a base and where we build on that, we might come up with something like this piece that's up here on top, where you can see there's twisty wires, there's yarn, there's pieces worked in, or like this piece down here at the bottom. This is kind of a wave-type sculpture. We could do something like a hanging, like this would be. I just did some chevron type pieces. We can stitch those together. And we can make more of a wall type hanging. So this process is a really an open-ended process. We, you can start in many different directions. You can start by, as I was showing you with the flat pieces to make some sort of a hanging and join the pieces. I have a couple of vessels up here. You can see these took just some flat pieces with a little wire and a little yarn, put them together into kind of a vessel type piece. Um, this little flower here, you wouldn't think that that gigantic yarn could fit through those little holes. You'll be surprised at how much it stretches. So we've got a couple of different starts here. We've got cutting, cutting the pieces and arranging them, and then we're gonna get to the yarn. And we've got digging with the yarn, and just, yes. Just going at it. Just going yeah. at it, and then we'll see what we come out with. And I love it, I mean, that's, there would be different approaches to this. And she's gonna put some shapes here together with wire to start out with, to build her structure, it looks like. I always look at it as a challenge when I find these things that, you know. Yeah, I love it. What do you do with it? I'm sure you guys, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You love to do that too. Like, someone donated this. What am I supposed to do? So what would you guys have in your supply closet right now that you 
wish that perhaps you had to work into this? <laughs> I have a lot of remnants of yarn. I think that I'm keeping just because I'm frugal and I don't ever want to throw anything away. And I think this would be a great way to sort of really use up those supplies that you maybe not have enough of to do the project that you did originally with it. So it's a great way to keep anything that has, that's any sort of a textile and use it in there. This is really turning out to be more of a mobile type yeah, thing, right? isn't it? Oh, you know? so I can hang it up. Yeah. yeah. So you could, yeah. that could hang up off the ceiling and everything. Yeah. All these materials for making your fiber mesh mash are at dickblick.com. Thanks for joining us.